Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another Chicago Beer Pass beer review. Fresh stuff. Freshies. We got, we got those uh, hazy freshies, bro. We got a date on this can from uh, Energy City Brewery. Yeah. I don't know if there's a date, but you just recently picked up these cans or had them hand delivered to you, right? Man, it was cool because Batavia is one of those towns. You know, my, my high school played Batavia in like the state tournament. Okay. And I had no idea where Batavia was. <laughs> and I've still never been to Batavia. Okay. But it's kind of like on the outer realm. Of of the of the Chicago land area. It's right next to Geneva. Right next where to Geneva. Penrose is. Right on. And See? that's that's how you know it. The edge of the earth. The edge of- as, <laughs> as as we affectionately refer to it as. You know, because you're not going past Geneva or Batavia. Right. You know? Well Saint Charles creeps, but what's yeah. in Saint Charles, right? <laughs> here we go, man. Oh yeah. We okay. Always do we yeah, always- <laughs> Energy soon. We're here to talk about the beers, not yeah. uh the brewery uh yeah. But these guys are um, these guys are engineers, and then there's a lot of um, I want to say there's a lot of engineer work that goes out there in around energy and oh Whoa. my god, <laughs> that's where the name comes from. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we didn't go to Batavia. Um, we met them in the Chicago Brewing District. Okay. Yeah. Over like Great Central. At Great Goose Central, Island. yeah. I think okay. they were having some conversations about maybe like. You know, getting involved with Grain Central and having them maybe pick up some of their some of their offerings. Okay, yeah. where are they brewing at their spot right now? Or are they? I think they have a, a small brew house in Batavia. I think what you see in cans uh, comes from uh, Church Street in Itasca. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chet Brett, or no longer Chet Brett. No, it used to be. It used Is to that... be. T- <laughs> <Brett>. <laughs> you got all kinds of problems Brett. going on. All right, man. What's going on here? <laughs> We're all leaving right. this all in. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I keep in here. Oh man! So yeah, no longer Chet Brett there, no. or if that's news or not, I don't know. Um, I think he. I want to say he went to tribes. Tribes, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, so this is their. He, he crashed our alarmist episode. He did. Yeah. yeah. Should go back and listen to that episode if you are, are a fan of Hayes. Sorry about all this. We got to get some more tiles after this. All right. All for right. sure. It's gonna be all nice and sticky. <laughs> Uh, so this is their New England ice IPA, yeah. brewed with uh, some Australian hops uh, and some uh, Secret and Galaxy hops. Yeah, Vic what? Secret. Vic Secret's an Australian hop. I'm kind of confused by that diagram. Maybe it's not Australian hops. In yeah, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> but it's brewed no. with a oh yeah, hop, Secret and Galaxy hops. From Australia. Correct. Vic Secret is a uh, uh, Australian varietal, and so is Val- Galaxy. Oh, Vic yeah. Secret. Okay. Oh my gosh, we are we are a mess here. Yikes. We should have had one gone away. We ended up having two. Yeah. yeah what, do you, what do you want from us? Fade and yeah. But I love this aroma. Mm-hmm. Very uh, uh, like pineapple, guava esque. Kumquat, like very like fruity and herbal, which I like. Yeah, it's not as sweet in the in the taste. Like it doesn't come off that fruit sweet. It kind of comes off a little dry. Man, anytime you can give me some beer integrity, where you know it kind of dabbles in the naked juice realm, but it's mm-hmm. not committed to being juice. But then, like you know, aesthetically, it gives you enough of that that vibe. Yeah, that you're satisfied. But then when you drink it, it's like you know what. Because mm, it has that hot bite. That it's a hoppy American beer, goddammit. it. Yeah, we talked about uh, Alarmus with Chet Brett Crash in that. Uh, it has that like hot bite yeah. that I love about the juice, um, and I think helped the juice win uh, the award this year. And so I think this hop null is it null, nor nor nori null, nawi. I want to say like nor like uh, Cajun y like New Orleans like, uh-huh. <laughs> but maybe it's nori. <laughs> uh, a Nawi is a handcrafted uh, tree bark canoe indigenous to Australia. So it is probably Nawi instead of Noa. Nawa? No, I don't even. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anymore. I don't know where you're going with that. <laughs> I was um, thinking more of like a, a New Orleans Cajun kind of New Orleans, New Orleans yeah. kind of vibe. But I don't know. We're off. Yeah. We're off the rails here. We're off the rails. <laughs> it's in, instead of just like straight orange juice. You know, it's it's more of like you know, you know, like orange juice mm-hmm. and orange peel. Yeah. You know, yeah, like almost like hints of lime, where it's like 
it's, it's both bitter fruit and yeah. and ripe fruit. So did you know about these guys before uh, getting the cans from them? Not at all. Uh, you were in uh, China or Japan, and you know we started to have the conversations about hey. You know, we're, we're having a release on S'more Stout, mm-hmm. and you know, we we have some we have some spots in the city where we we distribute. Um, maybe you should take it for a spin. Yeah, yeah, and that's where that's where this all came from. Okay. So uh, we met the guys, super cool guys. Um, we met them in Chicago Brewing District, and yeah, they were explaining that hey, you know, we're engineers by trade, and Energy City refers to the town of Batavia. And because um, there's some like big transformer out there or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, but and um, you know we love these styles beers and um, the s'mores was our first offering as a pastry stout. Okay. So and that's really the origin of us connecting with those guys. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. So well. I was actually going to just get that beer, but then when the when I got the haze, I'm like whoa. Mm-hmm. And you know I've seen it on I've seen it at Beer Temple, and I've actually seen it at Beer Miscuous, and I had a um, I want to say. One of their, it was either guava, it was a guava one. I'm gonna say guava. Okay. I had a guava, some guava haze from them. It was just as a sample, mm. and I, and I dug it. So I was actually excited that I heard from them because I did have it at Bermiscus as a sample because I'd never heard of the crew. Yeah, no, I so, know. And shout out to Bermiscus, man, for having them on tap, at least putting them on our radar mm-hmm. in the first place. You know. No, that's awesome, and I think this is a great offering from this brewery in the haze category style. <laughs> so I would definitely check them out if you're. In Chicagoland area or Batavia, wherever, like, give it a try. Yeah, and I feel like, um, you know, one of my favorite crews to chase, um, you know, every month is Unani mm-hmm. or Robert's Cave, the, which is the, the basically the IPA stout wing of Unani. Yeah. Oh, but I like their beers because it's the same way. Like, you dive into it and it's a beer, but, you know, it really looks like, it looks very juicy. Yeah, okay. And, but it, it finishes more like a traditional IPA. Which I kind of dig that hybrid. Mm. It's not fully committed to being a juice bomb. And you could crush a couple cans of them and not feel like yeah. you can. You, drinking sixteen ounces of orange juice is tough. Yeah, and there's enough low bitterness there that makes it accessible. But mm. you know, it's an IPA first and foremost, which I dig. Yeah, nice. So. It's cool. Uh, check out Energy City, Batavia, brewing out of Church Street right now. Uh, possibly might see more from them soon. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.